In today's video, I'll be walking you through the process of creating your own personalized teleport HUD that you will add your own landmarks to. For a bonus treat, make sure to watch to the very end. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, then welcome. I'm Alexi, and on this channel we explore everything virtual and exciting in Second Life. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Okay, we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. One of the reasons I like creating my own HUD is I can make as many as I like, organizing landmarks into groups. Yes, I know you can save landmarks in favorites. I use it as well so that they are shown across the top of your UI, but you're just not going to be able to house all the landmarks I'm sure that you have. And also, once you've created a TP HUD, you can then delete the landmarks out of your inventory. To get started, first you're going to want to design your TP HUD image. Shown here are just two examples of the images that I've created. You can do this in any image, in any program that you normally use, such as Photoshop, Canva, GIMP, etc. And just make sure that your image is sized to 1024 by 1024 pixels. And I also make the background transparent. Once you finish the image, you will upload it to Second Life. Go to Build, and then go down to Upload, and then to Image. This is the one that I'm going to use as an example today. So I'm going to pick that, and <clears throat> it comes up in the preview window. And sometimes it says something about an empty alpha channel will be removed. Don't just ignore that and just go ahead and click upload. And then it'll end up in your textures folder. So we're just going to close this for now. Then what we're going to do is go up to build and then you're going to pick the create tool and by default it's this box which is fine click the ground okay so then from here what I do make sure that you have show highlight checked because once you make it transparent you you won't be able to see it if you don't have that checked because there won't be any outline but so you can bump that up to a hundred and then it's invisible but you do see the yellow line of the box so from here you're going to go to select face click that and you're going to want to click the front of the box and then whoop, turn and click the back of the box so there are the two faces that you're going to be putting the image on i like to do i like to put the image on the front and the back simply because if when you load it onto your ui sometimes it's like turned around and you don't see it but if it, you have it on both sides it just shouldn't be a problem so now from here you go to the texture you just click in the texture box and it'll open up this window so you just go to your inventory where you have the texture most likely it'll be in your textures folder and there's the image so I just go ahead and click OK and then we want to bump the transparency down to zero and you will see it. So then from here, what you're gonna do is make sure that you name it. So go to the general and type in any name you want. I'm just gonna name it Premium Sandboxes. Now I don't, I wouldn't have a HUD really for this. Normally I'm just doing this as an example. I'm not that crazy. Okay, and now what I do, is stretch it a little bit. I don't want it that big on my UI, so I will go to the stretch. And first I'll make it a little bit thinner because we certainly don't need a huge box on our UI. And that should be okay. Maybe a little thinner. And then I just make it smaller. Now you can, once it's on your um, UI, you can adjust it then too. So, I mean, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Now it's time to either add the script in th to the content or create a new script, depending on where you got the script. Pretty sure that I got mine, I've had it a while. So I think I got it from the LSL scripting library, but I tried searching for it with no luck. But I will link the library in the description below. And as well as I found one on Marketplace, so I have a link to the marketplace in the description. So just make sure if you're looking on marketplace or whatever to really read the description because a lot of them that I came across were for only adding one landmark. And I was like, well, that's stupid. So just make sure you know what you're getting before you would purchase anything. What I need to do is go into the content tab and I'm gonna click new script. And there's my new script. So let me go into my inventory now and I have it on a note card. And I'm just going to copy the script and I just cover the whole thing. And I love scripts, <laughs> they're fun. So copy that and then I can close that. And I'm gonna click on, let's close this too. I'm gonna click on the new script. And this is the basic default script that you'll find. This just says, hello avatar. Like, so if you didn't add anything, you could touch your object and it would say, hello avatar. <laughs> so you just paste over that. And you wanna make sure that you have running and mono checked and then hit save. And it said, Compile successful, save complete. So that's it for that. And now what I'm gonna do, I can do this either while it's on the ground, which I will because it's just easier for me, but you can also add, your, you have to add your landmarks now to the HUD so it knows where to teleport you. So I'm just gonna go back into edit and into the content tab and this is, oops, I'm gonna try and make this a little smaller. And I'm gonna go here. And why is everything so huge? Um, okay, so I'm going to add this into the content. I'm d I'll just pick all these together at once. And drag them over to the contents folder. And I usually just hit refresh. Sometimes I'll hit reset scripts, it doesn't matter. And then you're done with that. So you just want to take this back into your inventory. And because you named it, where is, oh, it's going to be in my objects folder. And there it is, premium sandboxes. Now what you want to do when you add it you don't just click add because it'll just be attached to you so you're going to right click it and you're going to hit um, attach to hud and you can pick anywhere on like where you want the hud to go i normally do the bottom left so i'm going to choose bottom left and sometimes it's off the i can already see that it's i don't see it on my screen so what you want to do is right click it and hit edit and then you'll be able to move your screen out see what I'm saying there it is there so you just want to move it over and move it up and then yeah see it's huge still so because it's so big you don't really want it that big just go to stretch and you can just make it smaller however small you want if you want it at the top corner or you know wherever so that looks good that's fine it's out of my way and click that and then what you're gonna what's gonna happen is you're gonna test it out <laughs> so you're gonna click the button and you choose which one you want to go to these are the sandbox locations so let's pick bracers gulch now the teleport map is gonna, the world map's gonna open up. So this is where it's gonna teleport us. So we just wanna hit teleport and here we are. 
so that's how it works. And let's see, let's go back to where we were. I think this is. Yep, this is where we just came from. But okay, and there you have it. So now it's time for the bonus. Before we get to the bonus, I just wanted to mention with the HUD, once you place it on your UI, you won't have to do that every time. It will be attached to the same location as the last time it was worn. December is quickly approaching and they're going to start all of the advent calendars, you know, to all your favorite stores. So all you're going to have to do with this HUD is add your landmarks. So I'm going to make it for you and then I'm going to, it'll be on Marketplace and I'll have a link in the description below to the marketplace and you can pick it up there. So all you do once you get the store landmarks, you'll just right click on the HUD and you'll go to the content tab and you'll just drag your landmarks from your inventory into the HUD and you should be good. I think that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to click the link in the description to my marketplace store to pick up your free HUDs. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Make sure to hit the like button and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, I'm done.